former government that we were before now is far better than this very go government that we are in now. So my advice to government is they should try and do something so that there will be peace. There is no peace right now. You can imagine from Mary, from um, Allen Junction to Maryland, 600. Go and come back, 1,002. So let them do something about the fuel price, at least. By doing that, everything will come down. Because people buy fuel, you go to market, things are expensive because they transport those things to where they are going to sell it. So you will not blame them. And there's no way we can compare this administration with when we gain our independence. Rome wasn't built a day. Nigeria, we are progressing. We cannot compare 1960 to what is going on now. Definitely. It may not be in all areas, but definitely. We are moving forward. Things were much better then compared to now. Uh, we were not in this kind of mess. As in 1960, I don't think you can, we were hearing rumors or seeing people just take their lives. I mean, su suicidal attempts are so many. Do you know why a lot of people do it? They have gotten fed up of struggling. Some, have, they, some can't even feed even a meal a day. More so to talk of two or three times in a day. You know, and uh, no job. Those days, any little thing you are doing, you, make, you can make a living out of it. Do you understand? But now, it's not like that. Many people are moving about the streets doing nothing, even though we're all carrying bags. But a whole lot of them has not, some are not even sure of where to lay their heads. Our hope was that when we returned to democracy in 1999, that the country would be better. That will not struggle. There was celebration. There was joy. But the the uh, the, 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 the first is the case. That is what we are seeing now. Where you see political criminals walking around the country free. The widespread corruption that has eaten up the so-called democracy that we are celebrating for the past 25 years. There the, have been improvements. We we'll just have to stay positive. We know that the governments they are doing their best. Uh, uh, and uh, we as uh, citizens or we as uh, residents or people in Nigeria, we just have our own quota, our own part to play in order to have this good life we all dream of. So uh, now, now it's better off compared to 1960 when we gained our independence. The governments, uh, they, they are not perfect. No one is perfect. So uh, all we pray and hope is for a better life and we know we are going to get there. There may be, there may be difference, one a little difference here and there, but what I believe is we don't look at age. Sometimes they say age is not everything. We don't have to say because we are 64 and we have not yet reached there, that, does that mean that we are a failure? No. We keep trying until we get there. That's my I'm advising you people on top there to sit up and do the right thing. We are asking for the right thing. Ah uh ah, -uh, Nigeria is getting worse, 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 worse. What's that now? Who does that? You gave us assurance that as you are coming to Nimbu, that you do things, you make things be okay. Please, sir, with due respect, sit up and do the right thing. We want the right thing. This is the month of October. People cannot get, they cannot give account of. The business they have done. We have been set back to when we gain independent. The we, this man just have to start with the foundation now. Everything has been destroyed. I'm one of those people that campaigned for Buhari because I wasn't a kid when he ruled in 1984. I carried that perception that he performed that time to when he was elected without knowing that I made a very great mistake. Nigeria is an enterprise. 
If you cannot buy, sell, and make profit, you cannot rule Nigeria. Unfortunately, Buhari did not. But you will see Tinumbu, he never complained about anybody. He said that he applied for this job. He, he, he don't want to complain at all. He applied for it. And please, he needs our cooperation. Even though all of us realize that uh, the decadence in the system, the corruption in the system is bad. But those people that know that know, but some people that don't know, ignorantly, we blame government. But uh, we don't have to forgive them and pray for this man to succeed. President Tinubu is like a father. A father will not see his son hungry and give his son or daughter stone to eat. It's not. Even though for him to be president, God knows about it. He needs our prayer, he needs our cooperation for him to succeed. But you think of how to make people, help people to be gainfully employed. Why is it that we have so much percentage of youths into drugs? We have them like that because since they don't have anything doing, you go to university and come and nothing to show. That's why some of them out of anxiety take to drugs. Are you hearing me? They don't do those things with their normal eyes. It's out of anxiety, frustration, all sorts. You have one need or the other, you can't even meet up with that need. You are not even sure of a meal a day. Don't see the Nigerian people agree among themselves in solidarity that we the people should agree that we don't want this kind of corrupt system again. That is what will help us. But if you ask me, say the government should do, which government? Is there a government to help you do anything? Do you have a government that will help you to do anything? There is no government that will do anything for the people. There is no government that will do anything for the people. It is the people that will agree that we don't want this kind of system again. That we don't want this corrupt system that has eaten deep since 1999. Again, that is why we have a good country. But if we do not agree, we will continue to have a country that is miserable like this. So that is why I said we don't have a government that will solve this for us. We don't have. The people must rise up. Nigerians must rise up and say, no, we don't want this again. That is where we have a better country. The government should just empower the young ones. When I mean young ones, I don't mean, I mean both the middle-aged. Empower them. It's not all about giving them money. They can create jobs, or those of them that have jobs, those of them that have companies, factories, they can reduce the tax rates, reduce, you know, make, make the environment comfortable for investors and people doing business. By so doing, I think we'll all be fine. Giving the youth opportunity in the country. When you give them the opportunity, they will use their young imagination, their young sense, their young wisdom, like to rule the country. And you know, say that country is really. Even people from outside country will be coming down here. They will come and start inquiring the knowledge from us. Our uh, exchange, naira to dollar, is outrageous compared to what we used to have. And that makes our, our, I mean, our economic situation too. It's really affecting the, our economic situation. And the, our, the value, it makes us to lose our, our um, Naira to lose value. Uh, especially those of us that are civil servants. What we, what we receive as income now is nothing to, comp to write home about. Because of the this exchange of the dollar, the dollar rates, which has really gone bad. Because, uh, so that area, we need government to look into that. For more on well-researched and balanced stories, events, and interviews across business, tech innovation, and lifestyle, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel, www.youtube.com slash digivationnetwork.